Mm, okay. Can you explain for listeners who don't know what, what exactly is trauma bonding? Trauma bonding is where someone says, oh my God, I had such a you know terrible childhood and this and that happened to me and it was just really painful. And then the other person says, oh my God, me, you know, I had a similar painful situation in college and this is what happened to me. And it was so painful and you bond over the trauma that you share. So mm-hmm. trauma bonding happens a lot in rehab. A lot mm-hmm. of people who fall in love in rehab, it's very common. I have a background in the 12 steps. I know you two have worked with the addiction, addicted population. They fall in love in rehab and it's called trauma bonding because they're going through all these groups together and all this, the whole thing. And they learn about each other's trauma and they fall in love with each other based on their trauma. I do not think that's healthy. I think it's great if you're in a monogamous committed relationship to reveal, you know, some of the trauma that you've been through, but not on the first few dates when you're not even in a relationship. I think it's just a little bit too much. So what should people talk about on first date? (laughs) They should make small talk. And the way I teach small talk is called form. So the F is where are you from? The O is what occupation? What do you do for work? The R is recreation. What do you do for fun? And the M is motivation or money. You know, what motivates you? What are your goals? That type of stuff. Very, very good. Very uh, practical tips.